right, folks. So today we're going to start off from the Treasure Island. This is their Cove Bar and Arcade. We won't go in there, but as you can see, it's just a little area. They got a little arcade and a bar. For those of you that are wondering, Starbucks is still here. However, it's right there where the self-serve kiosk was, used to be. And this is where Starbucks used to be. So, looks like they're doing some work here. At least they finally got that bar, cove, and lounge done. Or the cove, bar, and lounge. Arcade, whatever. It's all the same. You know what I'm saying. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and take a walk today. It is Easter, so happy Easter. Thanks for leaving the... Uh, Sending the Easter Bunny over. Oh no. Ding. I think we're even. It looks like we're even. Well, today is the make or break. Go to the trop? No, Oh, we don't go to the trop. But it's the final walk. They are closing on April 2nd. I don't know what time. They usually set a time. I did see a news story about it recently. Hank Diaz, buddy. And they were talking about how people were going to the, um, what do you call it? Um, casino, hotel and casino, I should say, trying to get stuff as a collector before it ends and they close it. Right now, this isn't for really you and me, just for other, more like a B2B type situation. But the news story was talking about how there's a website for the liquidation and you can go on there and they have king size beds for I think 99 bucks and desks for eight bucks. But, once again, right now, not available to the public. It's more of a B2B thing. So. Well, that's that. But, they claim that folks are eventually, they'll open it to the public eventually, I guess. That's what they were saying in the news story. But I think they said they didn't anticipate that being until the next month. Which, considering we're in March and it was at the end of March, I don't know if that means that they anticipated opening in April, because that would technically be the next month. Or if they meant next month, like May. So, time will tell. I don't know, though. I mean, I can't imagine that I would want to buy a used bed, etc. from them. I don't know, maybe a, uh, I don't know what they could have. Maybe some type of signage, I guess. Other than that, I don't think I'd really be interested in stuff. They did say, not that it'll matter because by the time this airs, it'll probably be, uh, yeah, it definitely will be after their closure. But they were saying if you were going to go there and see if you could go to the cage to buy a casino chip, you know, as a memory, the cage was not in the business of selling the chips. That's what I thought about doing. 
But then I'm like, eh. I have some chips from them already. So, no big deal. I'm kind of surprised with it being Easter that... Prior to boarding, that means before you get up here, there are kiosks that she's located at the station where you can purchase a path prior to boarding. Uh -oh. Sorry, I forgot what uh, they were talking about there. I'm just trying to listen to the message. I guess if you board their bus, be sure to have your cash, your app or your pass ready to go. These two were like, uh-oh, we don't want to be on the YouTube. There we go. So like, we're gonna look and see what we got going on. Looks like she's got a clown there on her hip. A bunch of clowns, a devil. surprised to see showgirls out here it's almost noon but I didn't think they'd be out here on a Sunday at this time and I thought maybe because of Easter they wouldn't be uh, out here clearly I was wrong I don't mind looking, but not paying. For today's walk, we'll try and get to the Tropicana. But I make no promises. Come on, don't you want a photo with me? Like, nah. Not today, not today. I think it's going to be sunny for most of our walk. It might get a little ugly for the uh, portion of the walk, but overall I don't think uh, we'll get too many clouds here. So long as it stays nice and sunny, we should be good to go. I just got a long sleeve shirt on and shorts. from my jacket but I was like that sucker weighs a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and take my chances on this long walk that we can go ahead and survive without it we'll go by our friends at Carnival Court since we missed them yesterday during the rainstorm we will see if we can uh Spot Bumblebee, Captain America, Spider-Man, I don't know what else, who else we got over there, Spider-Man, King Kong, I don't think we've seen Ted the Bear lately, 
He hasn't been around. Oh, the yellow showgirls are turning around. They're like, we don't want to be on YouTube. Who's this kid? Anyone know who this guy is? I don't know. Is he a vlogger? Not a vlogger? I think we're gonna go, hell no, I don't think anyone hit the damn button, folks. Cause it should've gone by now. Son of a... Yeah. They still got the green arrow. What do you think? Oh, now they got the yellow. We're gonna bounce it. No one hit the walk. So we'll go by Caesars. Maybe later on, on our way back, we will hit the, um, oh, no thanks, sir. We'll hit it on the way back, maybe. We'll see. I think we should have a pretty good walk today. We got a pink box donut. We got an old fashioned with the maple icing. And then I got me a Dutch Bros trifecta. Breve, whipped cream, chocolate drizzle. the boys over at the link promenade sorry link promenade carnival court so it looks like i may have made a good decision we'll see here this guy he's just trying to catch some sun he's like oh, i need that vitamin d man yeah no one over there i'm sure they'll be there later Interesting to see if the cowboys and cowgirls are there. A couple of showgirls over by the uh, link bar there. Today we're on the iPhone. I got a different, I guess you'd call it picture profile. We'll see if that uh, looks any different for you. If it doesn't look any better, we'll try and change it. Looks like they got a few different profiles to choose from. I think a good, like, uh, maybe four of them. My buddy traveling man, Las Vegas, said pointed that out. I thought it was me at first. Parts of it looked a little bit like, um, what would you call it? Not bland, but kind of a little light. So you could do color grading after the fact. But I don't do color grading. Wow. Well, I see a cowboy over there. But uh, I'm surprised there's no cowgirls. Hmm. Interesting. Are you sure? Sounds like they're celebrating Easter with their family. Oh. When green, I thought we were going to get the walkie walk. That's not the case. Let's go over here. How is everyone's NCAA picks going? I didn't even do it. I 
And I didn't even check to see if uh, UNLV is still in the NIT or if they lost. I know. I think they made it to the Sweet 16 for the NIT, or the equivalent, I guess, the Sweet 16 for the NIT. If that's what you call it. And, uh, but I didn't pay attention this weekend. By the time this airs, it'll be the week anyway. After these folks turn left, we'll get to go. David G, I know you're probably more excited about this, uh, this than yesterday's walk, because yesterday's walk, that was ugly, brother. With the rain, I know we gotta switch it up. So it's kind of a different thing. Walking in the rain. This guy's asking that chef if he has any good tips or tricks on how to make nice juicy burgers. The chef's like, ah, oh, I'm sorry, dude, I can't divulge those. from Pasadena got a question for you I usually like to be on the outside of the Bellagio do you ever or like switch it up hey go inside I know I should go inside sometimes and I will but it's just nice that that walkway is back made the correct I won't say prediction I guess assumption that I was gonna have mostly sunny skies above me during my walk because I've been in a jacket Whew. putting that sucker in my bag that would have added some weight since the Mirage here. Well, he got some 30 pack of White Castle. That dude be hungry. This couple, the lady in the brown dress and the guy in the black jacket and pants. He would have been with them since the Mirage. Sometimes they're in front, sometimes they're behind. It kind of depends and they're gonna stop and take a picture for memories. Got a lady coming up in a dress taking her Instagram pictures or TikTok video. I was gonna say if there was a line at Old Red with the rain yesterday, I guarantee today, even though with it being Easter, that there'll be a line. For those of you that thought I was making it up, see. I wasn't. used to seeing the ladies over here I don't know this must be a test run because this sucker has been running since yesterday 
which we must be looking at a good 24 hours, and it's still closed off to people. This one, I get why it's closed off, because it's not moving. But the one for guests going down, that sucker's been moving for more than 24 hours now. But maybe they got to, I'm thinking they got to run it, put grease in there. Loop it up good. So that way it's uh, so that way it's nice and ready to go. Cause metal on metal, that definitely is a losing one. That's why you gotta lubricate it. Those are the clouds to the west over by the mountains. Thinking that must be the storm coming in from California. They claim by day the weather app. Yesterday was like, oh, thunderstorms Sunday. Or isolated thunderstorms. Let me get it correct. Well, I'm gonna say no isolated thunderstorms, folks. Maybe in the mountains, and that they change their forecast, but as far as right here goes, I don't see any chance of a thunderstorm. Before I came down here, I checked, took a look at the weather. Hey, there's that couple. Now they're gonna get in line for Starbucks, so we'll blast past them. We... our dance dance revolution crew it is easter we got a few people across the way at old red we'll see if we can zoom in here there are a few people out there i'm saying there'll be a line when we go by in about an hour or so Mary B, if you ever see me out here, feel free to say hi. I think it's crazy that I was across the street and you were uh, here at the Bellagio. I usually don't walk on the Sunday, as everybody knows, but last week it was windy. This past Friday, the last two Fridays, I should say, have been windy. So, convinced the wife, hey, how about let me walk on Sunday instead? And she's like, yeah, I don't care. I got my business done, so we're good. Kathy and Pasadena, I think they're waiting to launch off the fountains based on the amount of people are out here. Uh oh Fountain time. Considering we saw 
what, six of them or so over um, on the other side of the Mesa Dixon line. section was probably, uh, what do you call it? YouTube probably said demonetize it. Oh, he's gonna do it. Back to back songs. Oh, he's like, why well, you got all your crap here, kid? Pretty low. Check out this. We don't see this one too often. Crossing guard. What's up, my man? How you doing today? Hey, man. You guys got uh, crossing guards out here? Now? Yeah. Busy. Four or five crossing guards. Yeah. <laughs> Glorified. <laughs> hey, that's cool. Is it like something busy going on? Or? Honestly, there's always an event going on. This is a town that never sleeps. So yeah, no, I know. I don't know why I'm at this location specifically for today. Yeah. But it has to be some kind of either concert uh, or some kind of show of some kind. All right. All right. Sounds good. I am. Now look at this. Nobody's tooting their horn. Maybe because it's Easter? I don't know. Those two guys are like, oh, hell no. I don't be on YouTube. What is this, the Uber and Lyft show? Damn. So I think I showed you before, guys, but I noticed that signal. Someone must have hit it or something, because it shouldn't be pointing that way. Green left turn, center of your screen. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. You too. Well. You heard that, ain't nothing uh, special going there. I thought maybe there was some event of some sort. Huh. I don't know, the crossing guard told me to go. <laughs> even, though, even though the left arrows were on. Let's get another uh, or not because you said that about your mom hopefully everything uh, turns out all right buddy no worries if you're gone for a while before they understand I'll still say your name buddy don't worry we got to meet Ohio State and Florida State college football for the national title plus I need a deputy out here with me to uh, ticket all these clowns You can get healthy. What's going on, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. My name is Helen, bro. What's your name? Eric. Eric. Is yeah. that a? Are you shooting a little vlog? Yeah. Hey. You want to say anything? Go to your website or anything? Yeah. So we're actually with the International Justice Mission. Check yeah. us out at ijm.org. Now, cool thing about donating here is that we're actually helping over 50 million people fight good fight against modern day slavery and human trafficking by providing safe havens, rehabilitation centers, legal services, and advocacy and full rights scholarships for these people between the ages of four and 15. Sounds good, my man. Thank you, sir. Well, hey, Eric, have, have a happy Easter, okay? Eric, before you do leave, I yeah. just want to show you what we got going on. Oh. You can decide from there. 
Now, like I said, I already gave you the yeah. spiel over the iPad. Yeah. So what we are doing here is accepting yeah. small tax deductible donations. That's cheap as yeah. a dollar a day. And the yeah. cool thing about our program in person yeah. is we're doing a two to one match today. Yeah. First time donors potentially like yourself. Like I said, it's cheap uh, as a dollar a day. Instantly impacting one of these kids yeah. on the spot between the first one to three hours, sir. Let me think about it, my man. Oh, well, All right. sir, we could actually Thanks. make that today. Don't get greedy, folks. Say your little spiel. I know, you guys are going to be like, Eric, you're so heartless. No, we're just here to have fun. That's okay if you want to plug your stuff. I don't care. Like Nick, the soccer dad. Hey, buddy. I know you said you had the, uh, the books going. If you want to, when you post something on... Fine. If you want to post your link, that's fine. Just don't make it like a 50-page essay where it's uh, no one will see any other comments, if you know what I mean. But I don't have a beef with that. You seem like a decent dude. You're a Pacers guy, I think. So that means... Uh, you're probably, based on your picture, I'm going to say, I don't know if we're the same age, but we're in the general area. I'm going to say you probably remember Reggie Miller and the choke sign to, uh, what's his name? Dang it. The Knicks. I can't think of the kid's name. Spike Lee. Isn't that who he made that sign to? When he put his hands around his throat like, choke. I'll tell you what, that dude could rain the threes, but I don't know. His shot was kind of ugly. Dance Dance Revolution at Planet Hollywood. They are here today. They're the only one of the Dance Dance Revolutions out on Easter. When I walked, uh, what do you call it, downtown? That was a no-go. You like black, sir. You look half black. Oh, you got mixed? <laughs> that dude was funny. Oh. Bring back, bring back the rain. We don't know need George Michael's reincarnation to come back. Let me go home. Let me go home. You can see right through the side. You know, I'm trying to look at that sign. It definitely looks like they got platforms in there. But I don't see any type of... Uh, like ladder maybe I'm blind I don't know but I was thinking hey you just go in there and you could climb up it oh there well there's a ladder to the beginning right there about the center of your picture but I don't see any ladder the rest of the way hmm. maybe it's kind of hidden or something High voltage. That was a San Diego, or not San Diego Charger. It was a, uh, not San Diego Chargers, but a uh, LA Charger, sorry. And, what's up? Yeah, yeah. How much you pay for it? Uh, this was like 150. Oh. Yeah. They, you got it. but they were. Yeah, no, they're cool, man. You got an Instagram or something you want to promote? Yeah, yeah. 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 Courageous music. Courageous music. Yeah. Are you on YouTube, Instagram? What are you on? Uh, I'm on Instagram right now. Instagram? All right, buddy. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. See, that's what I'm talking about. Just plug your thing. Don't have to try and sell me on it. I'll tip who I tip. Like yesterday when I was downtown, I hadn't seen him for a while. And I uh, 
don't know what's going on. I don't carry too much cash usually. And usually if I do, it's just because I went to the ATM and I have some 20s as backups. Just in case, you know, because you never know. I don't know, maybe you need to fill up your gas and if the credit card machine is down and you got to have cash. That's just a fact to me. But I had a five spot, saw the dude downtown, been meaning to, like I said, tip him, like the music he plays. Cool dude. Well, I don't know if he's a cool dude, but he plays music that I like. So I was like, hey, here's a cup, here's five bucks, bro. Mike, we haven't mentioned you, buddy. Don't worry. Now that I know your name, pal, instead of Marsha, 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 it's going to be Mike, Mike, Mike. Which you got to say is much better than I'm sure when you were growing up. I'm sure you got a lot of the Mikey likes it. Am I correct? I was going to say, I'm sure that got annoying after a while. Sure, maybe at first it was like, oh, ha, 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 Mikey likes it, blah, blah, blah. But then, like I said, I'm sure after a while it was like, ah, oh, shut up with that shit. Am I correct? Excuse me. That project at the boulevard, I know I always say it's coming along really good and that. I don't know. It feels like they're truly like moving as opposed to some of the projects out here that it seems like takes forever to get done. It's like I can only imagine if it was my building, I'd be like, dang, dude. But the thing about construction that you gotta know, it goes in pieces, you know what I mean? Like, depending on the situation, you obviously got to have the frame, but before you get the frame, you got to have the foundation. So put the foundation in, do the framing, and then if you're something like the boulevard, that's a little more difficult because we're talking about steel erection. So you got to have some cranes for that. Once you get that done, you know, got the drywall folks. I don't think they're putting in anything electrical at this point. But eventually they'll have an electrical phase. You gotta have plumbing. Plumbing might go with the foundation time as far as the groundwork. But then you're also gonna need, well, they probably already had gas pipelines with the kitchens there. But, you know, you're still going to have to do work as far as that goes. Because if you remember the Hawaiian Marketplace, they just gutted that place. They just tore it up from the floor up. Eventually, you're going to need to bring the painters in, the interior guys. After all is in said and done, you're probably going to have like, I don't know, at least a good 20 trades up there from start to finish, of course. And then you got the general contractor, they got to make sure it's all going off according to their timeline. Got to figure out about overtime to get it, make sure you get it on done in time. Some places may, uh, what do you call it? Come on, dude. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, not give me any coffee of course i'm kidding 
Like I told you at the beginning, that's what's powering me. I'm gonna say this, when I crash, it's gonna be ugly. Hopefully I crash after the family party. Otherwise I'll become probably cranky. I'll probably wanna go to sleep. Everybody in their dang gimbal lately. I'm just playing. But no, really, there are a lot more YouTubers. I know Jay and Traveling Man Las Vegas, we talked about that lately. Well, no, about by lately, I mean the last six months or so, it seems like. say go figure yesterday raining sprinkling nothing but cloud cover today at least strip area perfect well I don't know if I'm gonna say perfect but pretty nice A little bit of wind. Scotty, got a little bit of traffic over there. but we'll see I think those two bunnies there showgirl bunnies they were taking a look at the park their reflection to make sure they look mighty cute for their YouTube debut I don't know if you can see them by the park sign there Sometimes I can't see them from this location. I gotta see them once I walk a little closer to New York, New York. There we go. time today and I think we'll get to the uh, what you may call it we'll get to the trop as our say goodbye at this point I think the trop's gonna have to be my thumbnail Mario and looks like Sonic Luigi across the way. They're gonna demolish the trap, huh? Put in a 30,000 seat stadium for the A's. They'll keep the pedestrian overpass, I would think. That way anyone staying on the strip that wants to go to the A's game, you just walk on over. I 
I can really only recall one Tropicana story that I had when I was younger. They used to have good sandwiches there. I will say that. Never really impressed with anything else food-wise at that location when we not stay there with my folks. Even when I stayed there by myself. But at their, I don't know what you call it, sports book, coffee shop thing. They had uh, good club sandwiches. I don't know what it is, but it seems like they're sandwiches here. Well, at least when I used to come, like club sandwiches, turkey, roast beef, really good. Because I really don't. visit the properties like when I used to travel here and stay here really don't go and eat at too many places as you know well, I'm not sure if we're gonna go to the right to get to the trop or we're gonna use this escalator go up and go over I guess we'll go, ah, we'll just go this way. Doug, buddy, it's time to win a bracelet here, pal. I was going to say, I don't know the last time I saw this many people walking uh, across the bridge to go to the drop. I'm thinking, people are coming 
by to say see you later, alligator. We'll come back this way. I did park at the Treasure Island today for a reason. I don't think it'll go over three hours. Actually, it better not go over three hours because I'll be in trouble. I gotta get home to cook the carne asada and the riblets for the fiesta. So. You, would, you would think they didn't have any of that. I'm sure. Well, don't try and put your phone through there, Duke, because if you drop it, someone's gonna run it over. And then you'll probably need to come up with a little bit of cash. anything. Wow. How about this? Oh, one of the things with the auction, just to let everybody know, nothing on the casino floor apparently is available. Like if you're looking to Oh, I'm gonna buy a gaming machine. Club Tower, Wedding Chapel, Business Center. These kiosks. All closed up for business. I'm surprised they're even running the band. I think that this was the day club, beach club area over here.
chairs or anything. No one's out there. Clouds come in. We get the heck out of dawn. Let's see here. Let's see, Slowpoke. Come on there, Gimbal. And Pepsi. All out. They got their little cleaning supply cart there. Hmm. Charging station. Glow. Wow. Go figure. The spa is still open. Only a couple more nights to be able to stay here. Well, as of the recording. See, there's nothing. Oh. This is what we'll grab. Please do not enter ceremony in progress. I don't think any more weddings. Just saying. Business center, that looks closed. Restroom closed, please use Oakville restrooms. I don't know where those are. This is not the cafe that I was talking about with the sandwiches. Elevator to Club Tower. Well, Mary B. Let's see if you're right or not. Oh boy. I don't like heights. Oh, of course I get the elevator this way. Well, Mary B, this is all your fault. Ooh-wee, we do not like heights. We're just gonna pretend like, um, I don't even know. I'm just going to look away from this damn thing. I don't like this. Ooh-wee. Especially considering, oh, shoot. Are we at 21 almost? This doesn't even give me a little heads up what floor we're on. Or we're close to. Oh, man. Elevator number 21, 421. Now, this is courtesy of Mary B. She said to come up here. A worker was telling her about the story here. got some linens there now this is what Mary B holy hell this seems pretty high up man I haven't been in a room this high up in a long time anyways what you're looking at is McCarran Airport there down below us is the employee parking lot soon to be part of the baseball stadium I want to say that complex there is an apartment complex but I could be wrong they might be uh a timeshare but I can tell you this whatever hotels are nearby like the Oyo man they're gonna clean up I would think anyways that's McCarran Airport there straight ahead let me see if I can zoom in that's the air traffic control tower over here uh, you probably can't see it there's a plane going off taking off there pretty cool view I guess I have two stories from this place. One is my neighbor back in California when I lived out there. Uh, we'll take a walk here, see what's going on. I don't know. I'm sure people, I'm sure security is like, what the hell are these people walking around with cameras for? And this is what you, it's pretty warm up here. I got like the heater blasting. Uh, so my neighbor from California, he would come here, and this is probably a good at least 25 years ago. He would come here and gamble, have a good time, just like you and me. But he played a little more than probably you and me. Definitely me. Uh, what's this? Fire door? Yeah, we're not going to go that way. Exit to the stairs? I don't think so. So, anyway, so he brings his family. Normally, I guess he would come by himself, right? So he comes here, and he's got a casino host, and the host puts his, him and his family up in a suite. And I don't know, I, I want to say maybe he came two or three nights. I don't remember how many. It was a few nights, you know. 
Look at that, man. Who put that sucker on 85? Whew. Oh, man, I'm not gonna mess with that thing. Anyways, comes here. I don't know, I don't think he had played the two days, you know, that he was here. So his host gives him a call and was like, hey, oh, there's an ice machine, how interesting. The, uh, hey, let's see if we can see anything from this side, Mary B. Um, so his host gives him a call, hey, uh, you, know, you haven't played, dude, uh, what's going on? So a guy, you know, tells, hey, you know, all my family's here, and, you know, it's not just me like usual. So host says, well, you know, I understand, but if you don't play, dude, I'm going to have to charge you for that suite. And I don't remember how much the suite was. He got down there and played. I don't remember if he won or lost. Um, oh, free Heineken. Uh, so that's one story. I don't think there's going to be a view from here either. Yeah. No view from here either, but you can see a plane taking off there in the middle of your screen. Whoosh. Clouds are rolling in, baby. So, the other story is um, when I was younger and I would come here with my folks. I don't know about the dudes growing up or the gals growing up, but a Tonka truck. Well, a few Tonka trucks, right? Those suckers were built to last, I can tell you, if they took a beating. So anyways, keep in mind this was the 80s. Okay. So, I think they're called the Lanai rooms. They're those rooms, and we'll maybe show you when we go down. Um, hey, what do you know? Number 21 again, oh Lord, holy hell. Look at that view, huh? Let's go down to the pool. So anyways, as I have a hyperventilation attack here, um, maybe that'll be a good view. Um, that's where we're headed. That's where we came from. You can see those rooms here. I think they're called the Lanai rooms. It's like three or four stories. It was cool because they had balconies, right? So you could open the balcony door, get air. It was nice. I mean, we're not talking a high-end thing. It was the 80s, but they were cool. Well, straight down. Nobody must be staying here at $4.99 at night. Um, so they... Oh, yeah. Oh, this we should take this. What do you think? Tropicana Vegas, welcome elevators to conference level. No. I would if I was parked here. No. Or would I? Maybe that pool entrance would be cool. Oh. And the pool area is closed, so I guess we're going back up, folks. I thought it was going to open. Bathrooms closed. I think conference rooms are above us. We won't go through those because who cares about those? Um, so anyways, so we would come here and we would usually get those rooms because they were the cheaper of the rooms compared to the one tower at the front of it, which is, I think it's called the Island Tower if memory serves correct. So we would get it and sometimes the housekeepers, well, they would make a little air and leave the connecting door unlocked, right? So when they left the connecting door unlocked, that meant free for all for Eric the moron. So I would, see that would be cool. I would wish I could get that, not really wish I could get that sign, but we're not gonna take our chances. We don't need to uh, potentially get in any trouble. So, oh, I stand corrected. This dude came out here. Let's go out here. Came from outside. So, 
it gave me a second room to play with my Tonka trucks rather than just the one main room, right? Which was cool. And then, because usually we're on, uh, oh, restricted area, do not enter. Yeah, we won't enter it because I don't need to get in trouble. But we'll get you kind of a close up. All closed off, nobody here. Kind of weird. Those are the rooms straight ahead, as you can see. Anyways, so then I can play with my Tonka trucks, trunks in the other trucks in the other room. Thankfully, they um, no guest ever entered. Thankfully, while I was playing there, because I would have been a little. Like, oh shit, what's this little kid doing in the room that they just checked into? Clouds are coming, so we better move it. Hightail it out of here. People taking pictures around here. So anyways, getting back to that, so because we'd be on the smoking floor, right? They usually had ashtrays. You know, those ones that are like, I don't know, about two feet high and they got all the material to prevent the fire. So. <laughs> These are the rooms. So I would get that, the ashtray, whatever stuff, like, dump it on a towel and then because they're Tonka trucks you know usually it'd be like a bulldozer or a backhoe or something like that and then I'd play with that stuff like I said keep in mind it was the 80s and I was like oh yay now we got sun entertained Mike, Doug, Ray, Jay, Luis, Nick, Paul Padota. Before any of you say, oh my lord, even Mary B, Kathy Kroll, Kathy in Pasadena, Sally, etc., Becky. Before any of you are like, oh my god, I can't believe it. It was the 80s, man. Back then you could playing mud and stuff and ain't nobody cares nowadays they're like oh my god you could probably get blah 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 what's going on my man have a good one thanks see this is going to be a priceless video yeah right no one wants the genius's commentary see that'd be cool heck dude i'll throw him 20 bucks for that thing It's kind of weird how all the slot machines were shut down. A lot of these are, looks like, out of service. High limit. See, everybody's walking around, seeing if they can find a little something. Could have got that sign, but like I said, we don't want to get in trouble or anything. Do anything stupid. Want to stay low. Stay under the radar. The cage is not selling any denomination of chips at all. This high limit area shut down. I was going to say it's kind of odd. Now this area is pretty much done with. We'll see if we can't get one last view. I wonder if you can go up. Heck yeah. Nice. All right.
There we go. We're going to take a uh, right up to the higher floors here. I don't know if they offer a view, but take a look at the mezzanine. It's a very famous area here. Oh, I can't believe nobody's here. You know, they're talking about saving this. I don't know how you possibly save this without, I mean, I don't know. That's crazy. I don't know how you save it. It's incredible stained glass. I don't know. It's got to be from the 80s, maybe the 70s. Anyone got any history on this? I mean, I remember this when I was a kid. Because I remember... They didn't have these uh, electronic games here. They had tables all throughout this area here. This was like their main gaming area. Tropicana never had a big, big area as far as uh, like all the slot machines and, you know, how they got whatever, you know, a few thousand, etc. cetera. Um, at, you know, places like MGM and that. Well, I'm happy I made it here. This is, they called it the Tropicana Theater, but that's where the Follies Berger, Berger, I don't know how to say that. Berger, Berger, whatever. Anyways, they were the real showgirls, not like, you know, the ones that charge 20 bucks or you tip them, whatever. Excuse me, on the strip. And in this area, they would have like some shops there, you know, like their usual gift shop and crap. So, well, that's going to conclude our tour here of the trunk. Hey, how about that, huh? Let's see if it'll go down. Ooh, because, you know, everyone's coming by. They get there. Little, uh, of course it's going up. That don't matter to me. It doesn't even say the number. Nine. We'll get off at nine or not not even 14 where's it taking us folks for those of you that are weirded out I am too right now and we're getting off on the top floor uh, all right well we're getting off that was definitely weird Well, since we're up here, I don't think there's anything. Yeah, you can't see anything, so nothing exciting. We'll go back down. That was kind of weird how it stopped at 22, and ain't nobody at 22. Hmm. It's also weird because I hit the C, and it lit up like it was going to take me there, and then it went whoop, right back up. Here we go. Hopefully no one on the elevator. Otherwise it'll seem like a weirdo going down. All right. So for those of you that are wondering, they're supposed to have a screen that alerts you to what floor you're on and where you're going. Hopefully we just get a straight shot down. Cause like I said, some people are going to be like, man, who is this weirdo with the camera and phone and stuff? I just tell them, dude, that's me. Three, two, ooh, almost done. Going down. Going down. Cool. You getting your pictures here? Yes. All right. You? Yeah, same thing. <laughs> yeah. Good guess. <laughs> oh, man. Only a couple more days, huh? Yeah, I like two. Yeah. Three. April 2nd, that's all over. Yeah. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Um, which 
going up the wrong way. So everyone's getting their pictures and videos of the place. That's the front desk. Ooh, buy one, get one. T-shirts mix and match. Come on down. Oh, okay. by the time everybody sees this, it's going to be long gone. These two dudes are doing. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> All right, folks. Let's hope for the best here today. And by the best, I mean. Hopefully, we get no rain. Because it got real ugly real quick. Yeah, I did. I was ready for Go in sunny with clouds around the strip. Come out cloudy on top of me. We'll see if we can get a... We haven't gotten this side view here. Let me get on the escalator. We will get a little close up. Working on the MGM Lion. Not working today, probably because, uh, I don't know, maybe they're Monday through Friday, guys. Or maybe because the weather does not look very good and the prediction was isolated thunderstorm. Do want to say thank you, folks, for continuing to watch, comment, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. That was our last walk through the Tropicana. We're going to see you later, alligator. Mike, if you're listening, I should have stopped to use the bathroom just for you. I need my last little mark before the uh, implosion. What is it? Seven months from now, probably. According to the article that I had seen, oh, we're getting a little windy here, folks, so hopefully it's not too bad, sound-wise, audio-wise. I'm going to say we won't see too many showgirls. Like I said, we didn't see too many on the way up this walk. Can't imagine we'll get any on the way home. This one's probably going to be a little longer than usual because of that Tropicana stop. I usually don't put things off to the end, but I kind of wanted to wait a little bit. Tomorrow's April 1st. Well, as I record this, tomorrow will be April 1st. That'll be the last night that guests can uh, spend the night there. some sprinkles from my face. The concrete in this area, rather than having the uh, <clears throat> those green barriers, those pylons there. I'm not an engineer, but I would think maybe the concrete with the rebar might be sturdier than those pylons. I think those pylons are rated somewhere between 30, 35, or 40, 40 miles an hour. One of the two. Three, sorry. Uh-oh, is this the group?
they got some talent. Not your uh, regular let me play a keyboard type situation on the overpass, but I don't know how the security officer, he didn't look too happy. Big bus, not parked with no one today on board. They got people today on board. I can't believe it. I don't, uh, oh, there's Mickey and Minnie. Here's Olaf. I was gonna be like, I was gonna say, I wonder if, uh, sun's out, gun's out, huh? Oh, Eminem. Look at this kid. Sonic. I'm mean, like, man, I saw Sonic Mario and Luigi from the other side. I'm like, what happened to the boys? You just eat on the go. So, Phil, based on what, oh boy, no horn? Wow. That was your chance, buddy. See, what sucks is because you blocked them all, now we gotta, oh. All those people were in the process of turning left and gets pushed back. Scotty, then he's cleared it out.
getting a little windy wind, but not bad. Which one are we Get home, cook up some food, have a party. Part of me wanted to slow down to see what two girls were behind me. Because they're like, oh my god, I could never date. escalator here based on yesterday I'm sure they didn't fix it I don't know if they're moving hotels but no joke I hope they're not walking to the airport because that's gonna be one hell of a walk I'm gonna assume they started somewhere around Koval let's say that's best case scenario Boulevard, you got about six months before you can, before you're gonna open. Fall 2024 or more spring 2024. These guys are like, where's the hotel coming? I don't see any hotel. Don't worry, ain't nobody sees it either. Probably may retire from walking by the time they even start the uh, project. Uh, I was right. I didn't expect them to fix the escalator. So it's a okay. More San Diego stuff. Hmm. So, quite a few San Diego Madres shirts and hats yesterday. Seeing some San Diego stuff today. Oh, they closed this one off. They're like, now. We're not taking any chances. Putting that little sign up there. That ain't going to do it. Got the long sleeve shirt, no jacket edition, so staying nice and 
warm. Jay, believe it or not, no Miracle Mile shops today, buddy. I'm thinking these folks must be waiting to get in. Only because that would be kind of a dumb place to stand otherwise. There we go, my buddy's gonna lead the way here. Wow, we're already at an hour and a half. I don't believe it, that's pretty good. See if the yep escalator still closed over here. We're gonna go over here. Germs or no germs? I'd rather hold the handrail just in case I miss. And I can catch myself before going down 20 or 30 feet, rolling down the stairs. Plus, hurting myself. Come on. You're a smart one. Don't get hooked up. The lady was a smart one in that one. She's like, no, I don't want to get hooked up. She knows better. The husband, no. Our boyfriend. What? Something free? Well, yeah. It's not free, buddy. Ain't nothing for free. Stands Revolution, the only one working today. He's out on the strip and downtown. I didn't see anyone down there. Peanut pizza. I think we're gonna see the Magic Band today. What does everyone else think? say why yes still watching just want to say I won't be here next weekend or the following weekend I'm gonna see if I can record some videos this week I don't know when they'll get posted I was able to get a what do you call it to think of what the heck it was done 
a video done. I think it was a South Premium Outlets. But it might not have been. <clears throat> it might have been the Henderson Galleria. Uh, hey, there he is. There's the Magic Man. I knew he'd be here. Yesterday he wasn't, but it was kind of raining. Tilted kilt guy. Mr. Bagpipes, Peter Faulkner. I don't think that music's gonna get me demonetized. I think he just plays whatever. We'll just wait till we get the walk sign. This lady here in the black jacket, she's walking real gingerly with the heels. She's like, whew, I am tired. Okay, that's one of the tips, I would say. I don't know if you ladies can chime in, whether it be Kathy Kroll, Kathy in Pasadena, Becky, Mary B, Sally. Here we go, turning left, and people just keep walking. Nope. Oh. We finally got some people to stop. No horn, no horn. Wear nice, comfortable walking shoes. This guy's got a taxi cab in front of him. It just stopped there. Now we should get the walk sign. Yep. Subscribers asked to walk around the Grand Bazaar shops. I don't know if that's going to come on this walk or another walk. We've got to get home for the festivities. We'll try and get that during the week, maybe. engine boom got some excess fuel popping off there celebrate with our family.
gotta get out of my way. I'm going to say 20 plus in line. That's always a safe guess. We shouldn't make a safe guess. We're going to say, what's up, bud? We're going to say 25. I don't know if I can count that high, though. Maybe I can. This is the first time there has not been a line here. How about that? I was totally wrong. Wait, I said over 25, right? Yeah. I am just blown away. Oh no. This crap's always broken. I shouldn't say always. Steve on sax. Whoops. Me. Everyone's like, oh. Better do a little walky walk. Go slow. Actually, we will go and check. out. Well, I really can't check it out, but we'll see. Maybe I can. I'm gonna say still no cowgirls. I think there was a cowboy or two. 
when I walk by the other way. Yeah, we'll see what's going on. Look at this guy's costume, man. What bet did he lose, huh? in your C4, C5, C6 Corvettes. Like I said, if you don't want to incriminate yourself, buddy, you don't have to say it. Dudley, my man. You know what we should do? We're going to show up to the Raiderette tryouts, and we're going to be like, hey, we're just here to... Uh, to make sure everything's good. And um, what do you think, buddy? You think you can convince your wife that for that? That we're just there to act as backup security? I think that's pretty good. Like the cowboy must have saddled up and gone home. Super Bowls in recent memory than the Dolphins. Tennessee, Purdue. Purdue, I think, is in Indiana. So, soccer dad, you rooting for Purdue, buddy? Or is uh, you a Hoosier? I don't know Indiana State. I don't know what their... Uh, what their mascot is. Otherwise, it'd be like, hey. Like Got some band playing at the carnival court here. However, oh hells yeah. My boys, the King Kong. Oh, double King Kong. We got 
Poor Man's Bumblebee, of course. Spider-Man. We got the same two police girls that are always here. Whoa, what channel? How many viewers? 5,000, bud. You got a YouTube channel or anything? No, what are you doing? Just walking around, buddy. What are you guys talking about? He says, topic, is it somebody who died no. what? No, just talking about Vegas, man. Well, I'm a Vegas nightclub promoter. Yeah. Free limo, your... free cover. Call me when you're ready. All right, sounds Finger good. Finger blasted, Mitchell Wrestling. Let's go, guys. Call All me right. Titty City. All right. Wow, the pro photographer even takes them with the showgirls, huh? They got a pretty good offer. She's waiting for her friend to finish the business. What? I know, Mike. That's what you're in there for, buddy. Taking 304s. One's my dude there. Tan shirt selling the CDs. I think Mickey, Minnie, and Olaf, they were over by the Ross on the other side of the Mason-Dixon line. Be a little busier over there, maybe. Instead of, uh... oh, shoot. There's Olaf and Minnie and Mickey. How about that? Looks like we got uh Folks, it's been a pretty darn good walk here today. I don't think we got any horn, though. We already gave that trophy out yesterday. I don't think we heard a uh, siren either. Oh, well. I think it was still a pretty darn good walk. We got the Tropicana. Attention players, don't lose out on earning player payback rewards for your slot and video poker play. Get your player's card from any slot attendant now. Folks, I am out of steam. No, I'm kidding. I'm out of gas. My Dutch Bros coffee and my donut. Coming down off that.
Got a Bud Light. Think you get those puppies for free nowadays, huh? What? Uh, two in the horn. We're good to go. For food? After this one, we are good to go. walk across the street not really we'll take our little uh, usual walk pedestrian overpass uber lift and a Cadillac SUV huh that's not too bad I bet that's extra extra whoa look at this guy coming in hot and he's like, well, those SUVs don't corner like you think, buddy. Just like me and my Charger, Dudley. It doesn't corner like I think when I'm going 25 miles an hour, buddy. Yeah, I know. I complained about that the other day. couldn't believe it I'm like I'm not going that fast and like I said it's happened before maybe we'll take a gondola ride one day yeah right I'd probably be like uh is there a rest stop here I can use the restroom because I need a break They're like, woo! I'd be like, hey, dude, let me fill the water. I might need to jump in and use the facilitate. I won't, but. It would kind of be tempting. I'm sure they trespassed me from the property, though. Like, I don't need that. <laughs> Stay low. Don't park here. Up and over, like I said, we'll call it a day. It's been a pretty good walk. Holy wow, we're already at two hours. A couple minutes more than two hours here by the time uh, we get over to the old Treasure Island. Thankfully, the only hotel with the free parking. Actually, they're somewhere else. But that's a secret. Well, I think it's free parking. I've never uh, tried it, but someone told me about it. I wonder how much battery this phone has left. Since the weather was nice and cool, you know, it was in the sun for the first half of the walk. I think in, uh, from the trop on, I think we've had the... She got her selfie stick. Gotta make sure, get those photos. We're gonna go inside Starbucks. Ray, 
can see a couple of uh, showgirls sitting in there. We're gonna chat it up with them, see how their day's going. My shoulders are kind of hurting me. We'll see if they can give me a quick little massage. No picture though. Either. Well, folks, this brings us to a sad end. The weekend's over. Hopefully, you had a nice and peaceful Easter if you celebrate it. I never noticed here. Um, look at that Venetian. The, uh, that side of their marquee is kind of missing. Not a whole lot of people here. We'll go ahead and hang out at the back of the line. They were going to blaze a trail for me. I guess they will eventually. I was going to say, I think these two are cutting up their cash. They're watching themselves on YouTube. <laughs> I'm just playing. Oh, there were a couple of girls there behind me. Didn't even realize it. Well, folks, catch you later.